Okay, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to show that the identity element of a group G is unique. How do we do that? So we shall assume in the beginning that suppose we have got two identity elements. So E, let's say E1 and E2 are the identity elements of identity elements of G, of the group G, right? Such that E1 is not equal to E2. So what we're going to do, what we plan to do is find out a contradiction to this statement. Now, we know that if E is an identity element and if G is any element of the group G, then G star E is going to be equal to G, which is going to be equal to E star G, right? Where G belongs to the group G, capital G, and the operation star. So this is the definition of the identity element of a particular set, of a particular group with the set, set structure G and with the operation star. All right. So let's get down to work and see how E1 and E2 are related to the elements of the group G, right? So uh, when we consider about E1, right, in that case, G times E1 is equal to G, which is equal to E1 times G, all right? I, I hope this is absolutely clear. So we'll take this as equation one. And also the same element G or an arbitrary element G, uh, when we take the operation of G with E2, is going to yield G again, because E2 is another identity element. And by the definition that we had seen just a few minutes back, E2 star G is also equal to this particular relation. So let's just say that this is equation two. So we have got two equations. Actually, you know, there are multiple relations that we can uh, find out from here. Now, the condition here is that G belongs to capital G and it is an arbitrary element. So it is true for all the elements of our group G. Fantastic. Now, what we'll do is that we will substitute, substitute G is equal to E2 in the first equation, in the first equation, the second part of the first equation, right? So which part of this first equation? Let me write it down. G equals E1 star G. So this is going to give us another equation which says that E2 is equal to E1 star E2, correct? So let's name this as equation three. Now, this equation three is going to be important to us, right? So maybe, you know, we'll just make a box around it, equation three. All right, now we will substitute in the similar way, substitute G equals E1 in equation two, right? And in this equation two, um, we'll just consider the left-hand side of equation two, right? So the left hand side of equation two is G star E2 is equal to G, right? And that will give us E1 star E2 is equal to E1. And let's just say that this is equation number four, correct? And we'll just put a box around it. And I guess it is now very obvious that from equation E3 and 4, right, that E1 has to be equal to E2, right? And therefore, the identity of the, of the group G is unique. And that completes this very short and sweet proof about the uniqueness of the identity element. Okay, thank you for watching.